Hey guys, it's Bev. Thanks for coming back and hanging out with me today. Today is a less chat video, so stay tuned. Hello! So today is a different angle, as you can see. Um, I'm doing some editing. So I thought while I was doing that, I would talk to you guys and see what you think. I'm cold and that coffee feels good on my hands. <clears throat> so today's topic is sewing through difficulties. And this is a hard one because I know that we have all dealt with it um, in various stages um, and maybe strengths, you know, or, um, what's the word, you know, and things that maybe weren't so difficult, but things and other things were like super difficult. That's what I'm trying to say. So, um, um, I've sewn through, I guess, all levels and I found out that sewing really does help me kind of uh, process what's going on um, because there, I'm not I'm not one of those people who can just sit down and just kind of pour out to people I'm, I'm just that's not me um, you kind of have to be on my inner circle um, for me to feel comfortable and vulnerable enough to share these things with you um, and so my inner circle is kind of small um, and my husband is a great help with that um, and some friends from church also um, so yeah I don't I don't often talk about that kind of stuff with other people so sewing for me is a great way to be able to do that without having to necessarily because maybe I have already talked to somebody about it but there's still kind of like residual hanging on stuff that I need to deal with um, and that's been the case for me with almost anything that's like really got me you know what I mean um, I have um, sewn through depression I have sewn through quitting smoking um, and that really helped me a lot because as a smoker, you know, you're always doing something with your hands and I, my husband and I both, we did not realize how much time we took up smoking. Like we spent a lot of time smoking and we weren't really like three packs a day kind of people. We split a pack a day between us. So, I mean, it's not a lot, but it was a lot at the same time because we spent a lot of time smoking because we didn't smoke inside so we went outside and smoked but um so that was a great kind of time filler for me um when Jack's mom passed I sewed a lot um whenever I would get kind of down about my parents being gone I would sew um, when I get frustrated, like if I'm kind of irritated at somebody or whatever, or, uh, maybe I don't know how to talk to them in a particular way or something, you know, I would go sew and kind of work through that until I kind of found the right approach or the right words. Um, and it's really great for that. It's really it's kind of, hmm, it gives me the chance to kind of step back from the situation, whatever it may be. It might not be a death or um, something crazy, you know. It might just be um, that I'm feeling kind of bad about myself because I gained a few pounds or uh, maybe it's that time of the month and I'm feeling a little, you know, and so 
it just it helps me kind of step back from that and deal with it it gives me the space the time to deal with it and um, usually I'm better off for it um, I don't come out rarely <laughs> excuse me I don't come out like irritated you know what I mean so I, I feel like personally I deal with the situation better after I have spent time sewing um, and kind of clearing out the garbage um, last month I sewed a lot um, I didn't show you guys everything because last month was a really personal month for me um, my uncle who was like a second father to me I'm not gonna cry <laughs> and my sister both passed last month um, within a week of each other It was a really difficult time. And I mean, it would have been a difficult time any time of the year, but especially at Christmas time, it was hard, you know, um, because you're supposed to be jolly and thankful and happy and, you know, all this kind of stuff when all I really kind of wanted to do was stick my head in the sand and cry. But um, once again, sewing came to the rescue and gave me that time that I needed and I'm still working through it I am by no means over it um, but it, it it gives me that space and that 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 chance to just kind of um, work through all of that pain sorry um, and so I'm curious if you know, if you've been sewing for a long time, if you've had this um, experience where you've used sewing to kind of help you through a hard time, uh, you know, and that could be job, that could be, you know, family, that could be tragedy, it could be whatever, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be this huge, catastrophic, devastating thing. Um, uh, so I'm, I'm just curious. I'm curious if you have found this to be true I'm curious to know if you rely on sewing for that because I think that I'm definitely um, finding myself that when I get maybe I'm just irritated with my kids because they're doing something crazy or whatever so I'll go sew and it it just helps me you know get to the point to where I can talk to them instead of you know carping at them you know what I mean nobody wants that <laughs> they don't I don't so it just for me it helps a lot and I find that I do turn to it a lot um, now I, I have my own set of uh, beliefs that I adhere to um, and outside of those beliefs I do look to sewing and it helps me um, and I love it I'm so grateful to it for being there <laughs> to kind of help me through these things because it's difficult it's difficult to I mean life in itself is difficult you know so when you get thrown a, um, a spanner in the wrench or, or wrench in the whatever what do they say there's a saying and I can't remember but anyway whenever you know a wrench gets thrown into the works it helps it's there it helps and then I can face the issue um, head-on and I kind of feel um, stronger and and renewed in the fact that I've kind of you know dealt with everything and I kind of know where I'm going with it so um, that's the topic uh, for today's Let's Chat. I hope that this finds you all well and that I, if you have anything that you would like to talk about, go ahead and post it in the comments below. And I just really want to say thanks for taking the time to have a chat with me. Take care, guys. Bye.